Loot and gear in New World is underwhelming and quite frankly just not enjoyable and in this video I'm going to tell you why and the little things that Amazon could do to fix them. And really I think we have to start with gear score. Now I'm not saying that gear score as a system doesn't work, it obviously does, it functions, it exists, it's a thing but then again like so is Piers Morgan. But overall I think that the gear score negatively impacts the game in a massive way. Now let's compare these images. We have World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, Lost Ark and you can see on there they do mention something called item level but you'll notice that it's not overly emphasized and then when we have a look at new world well the thing that you see is the big gear score number it's pretty much the first thing you see and weirdly the gear score itself doesn't actually give you any power it's an indication of that item strength not the power itself which is similar to the other games that I mentioned and I put it to you that new world has too much emphasis on this gear score both conceptually and literally on the screen and I think overall that this makes gear in New World feel pretty contrived and it makes New World feel like it's a game by the numbers without actually any soul and fun. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, gear score is not the only issue as I literally just showed some other games having the same thing. One big issue is the expertise system which used to be called the high watermark gear score system. Now to explain what that is, your expertise basically determined the quality of your drops. So as a fresh level 60 your expertise was 500 and you would get like level 500 gear score drops however you did have a chance to get a little bit of a bump in that so you could maybe get like a 505 and that in turn would increase your expertise hence setting a new high watermark because your gear from that point on would be way more likely to be 505 and indeed you would then have a chance of getting higher and higher now this system to me has issues in quite a few ways but the main one to me is that it's quite simply just very grindy and unrewarding and weirdly in the december update one of the developers said when you you do get a bump now in your expertise you get a nice notification that pops up on the screen this big beautiful banner right. that lets you know just what you got and, and what mm -hmm. it affected and it feels it feels great and i think that highlights the issue because quite frankly that is wrong the expertise system is simply not rewarding what is rewarding is getting like meaningful loot upgrades and you can get them in a variety of different ways for example the joy of getting a drop that you've been farming from a boss for quite a while or the excitement you get when you can finally afford like a new weapon or an armor piece with the tokens that you've been saving basically completing like a controllable grind getting that meaningful loot upgrade feels way more rewarding than getting an expertise bump and really most of the time you were increasing your expertise your gear was not actually going up alongside it because the gear that you got just wasn't very useful a lot of players simply went from the faction vendor gear to basically crafted gear with void bent and then even more crafted gear when they were trying to get best in slot or just two perk items that were very good but Amazon was like hey we don't like you trying to skip our grind we're going to try and enforce that on you so what they planned on introducing was a system where if your expertise was 500 but you bought a gear score 600 item well your actual effective gear score was going to be 500 and that was going to be the case even if you crafted your own gear or you bought it from a friend they then relented on that a little bit and they actually said that if you bought a gear score 600 item while your expertise 500 it will go to 550 and if you craft it that that actually doesn't apply but basically they wanted to enforce the expertise grind upon the players simply to slow them down and to make it feel like there was end game content all the while believing it was somewhat enjoyable to the players and we can see that it wasn't enjoyable because the players literally went for the path of least resistance that's why people were farming elite chess runs every single night even though they're not really enjoyable for most players because they simply wanted to get their expertise up because you needed to do that before you could then do the fun content like expeditions because you wanted your expertise to be as high as possible before you did those and I think it's obvious now that the expertise system quite clearly blunted the enjoyment of a lot of players. It was an unfun grind designed to slow players down and I really hope that this system disappears into the shadow realm when we get a new expansion and I think the game has a problem with loot progression. As I said a lot of players simply went from the faction vendor stuff to crafted stuff with pretty much nothing in between. A lot of the best in slot items as I said comes from crafting and the problem with crafting for me is that that's simply like way too random and then you have the issue with companies being like super rich so that they can afford to get the best in slot items because they can just throw away the gold whereas the average player just has to like hope and pray. But quite clearly crafting was the biggest source of good gear when people were level 60. So the loot progression was simple it was the faction vendor stuff to crafted stuff which is a little bit bland and your expertise was essentially 
essentially like a secondary parallel grind. Now I personally don't think that this loot progression is that entertaining in an MMO. If you've played other games in the past like WoW Vanilla you might have been one of those people farming molten core week after week trying and praying that your item will drop and that it will be given to you and the joy of getting something like that was very high. But I do want to point out that I'm actually probably against that sort of level of randomness having like the best items tied behind like complete chance again is probably a little bit annoying you need some sort of middle ground. Now I'm not a designer but if I was to quickly think of a solution to this using uh, the current content that we have I would maybe do something like this. I would have the open world elite areas as the, the stuff that you're supposed to tackle first then you go into expeditions and then finally you go into the mutated expeditions and you could literally ditch the expertise system and just give better gear for each of those increases and you could even keep the umbral shard system to say like if you got a item that wasn't very good well you can sort of level that up as you go up in that system as well. As I said I'm not a designer I'm sure there's probably a better way of doing that and I think one developer said and I actually don't know who it was but Asmongold on his stream will often sort of repeat it it's something like you can't really trust the players to design your game because whatever they suggest is probably wrong but when the players are telling you that the game isn't fun you should probably believe them and I just think that this is not a fun system. Also I think one of the important things about the loot in New World is that it's actually just pretty damn bland in itself. It's quite literally formulaic. You know the exact stats you're going to get on an item it's going to be like 25 strength or 15 strength and 10 constitution a combination of that. It's only ever one stat or two stats and the amount of those stats are determined by the gear score. Now there are differences when it comes to the armor rating of elemental and physical and probably like weapon speeds and that kind of thing but people don't really pay too much attention to that. Maybe we should, maybe I'm wrong. And also the fact that like every item has like a set number of perks depending on the rarity is a little bit weird and the fact that these perks are literally like not custom, they're all the same. Obviously it's literally just a pool of perks and you get like a random selection of them unless it's a named item in which case obviously it's specific three perks but they're perks that you could get on a random item it's just boring and as I said there if it's a randomly dropped item that's not a named item you're going to get a random combination of stats perks etc so you can very easily get a great axe with intelligence on it with perks that are all about killing beasts just like pointless stuff and that's actually most of the loot in New World you just get loads of gear most of it completely pointless like if you go ahead and do an expedition like 95% of it or something like that is probably absolute junk and it was all this randomness that basically led to crafting being the most important way of getting good gear because you had some control and you get even more control now with the timeless shards because you can now pick a stat and a perk and you know what's weird even with that I still think crafting is way too random whether or not you're going to get a legendary or not and then what the other perks are going to be. But I've mourned about that before and I'm not going to continue here. But I think this led to a lot of players not really having a fun way of getting good gear. If you weren't interested in crafting you were pretty much out of luck. Now I do have to say that things have gotten better and it looks like things are going to get even better with regards to this. In the future we're going to have like a PvP reward track. Not 100% sure what that's going to be but it sounds positive. And we already have mutations. If your gear score 600 you are more likely to get the named items from mutations and some of these are quite good specifically the weapons and the jewelry in a mutation they're pretty decent and you know almost best in slot not quite sometimes they probably are but they're pretty damn decent but if you want armor mm, well you've been mostly out of luck for a long time in the march update we are indeed getting a new expedition and it looks like there is some more named armor in that so hopefully this is like the start of bridging this gap but right now in the game if you want the best armor you pretty much have to craft it or have it crafted for you which is completely like random and just insane. Call me old fashioned but I like the idea of an MMO having it sort of be where like the crafted gear is as good as the loot that you can get dropped. New World just doesn't really have that balance it just doesn't work. So quite frankly there's a lot of things I would like to see changed. I'd like to see an alternative to the expertise system. I'd like to see gear score de-emphasized. I'd like to see either the removal or the reduction of just random items or if you're going to keep random items at least make them better consistently. I'd like to see more named items especially armor even though we may be getting that already. I'd like to see something where you can like grind something and guarantee a good item at the end of it. Maybe like a token from a pvp battleground or something like that. I'd like to see unique items that don't follow the formula of every other weapon and armor piece. Make something fun and interesting and unique even if it's not super powerful. I mean hell I could go on there's a lot of things I'd like to see. Less random crafting, an actual transmog system and way more but I'll stop there otherwise this video will be way too long. But but as I said at the start, the current gear score system in New World makes you feel that New World is an MMO by the numbers and it lacks some soul and some enjoyment. And it is an MMO by the numbers, quite literally. A lot of games are MMO by
by the numbers but they generally hide it you would literally takes it and just shoves it in your face and then they tell you that you should actually find it fun when it quite simply is not personally i'm hoping that this gets changed when we get an expansion as i feel like that will be the time to rework this hopefully they've learned lessons from the mistakes that we've seen before and it'll all get resolved let me know your thoughts in the comments below like this video and subscribe to the channel come and follow me on twitch have a most beautiful day goodbye